Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from India Airport at Greater Noida. We have with us here the Chief Digital Officer for Vizel, Ekta Ghosh. Welcome, Ekta, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. In an event which talks about aerospace, talks about airport modernization, talks about airport technology, digitization is an important factor. So let's get ahead with it. What are you, your views on it? Right. Thank you, Sangeeta. Thank you for this time with you. Um, at Vezil, uh, we call ourselves the digital airport company. So what we do is we are the people behind the scenes when it comes to IT systems, when it comes to the applications, the solutions that an airport needs to function. So we provide the underlying layer, we provide the passenger interface, we provide the systems that the airport operators need to not just provide services that are you know able to get the passenger arrive and depart but give them an experience that they can talk about yes but does that mean uh, ekta that uh, everybody has to be very very digital and know the world it's because most of the population you know here it's a billion plus population most of the population does not know uh, it's not tech savvy so how does one do these things right a good question sangeeta um, so what does digital mean to anyone? Digital means something that is close to human way of working. It means how you don't really need to learn something. It comes to you intuitively and helps you get through the day business without even realizing that you are in the middle of technology. That's digital to me. So when you're talking about India and you say that we are not a digital savvy uh, country, I beg to differ because the number of mobile phones carried around in India and the usage that we have surpasses any other country that we know, right? So when we talk about people not understanding technology, that's not true. But people able to use it simply for their day-to-day -day activities when they're transacting through an airport, it comes naturally when the systems are available. So when India is gearing towards more digital operations, more digital functions, it becomes important to focus and develop systems that are easily available to people and they can use them in their day-to-day -day life. So for me, digital is making life simpler, not complicated. But then how do we make it easy for the traveler who's, uh, you know, using technology to do things apart from ticketing? Now, you know, it's not necessary. Everyone knows how to download and everyone knows there's a very major chunk of population which has started traveling by taking tickets from the, you know, agents and asking the agents to do the other work for them. But then they still prefer to go to the counter and get their boarding passes from there. So how do we attract them? So change is always dependent on adoption changes dependent on how easy a new system is to use. It always takes its time. People get used to new systems. We are today so used to carrying our Aadhaar cards in our mobiles, right? Yesterday it was even unthinkable that you will have one common identity. So about streamlining and making it mainstream is something that always takes its own course. But the systems that are being deployed now are much more easy to use. They are much more, as I said, intuitive. For example, we are right now uh, looking at making Digi Yatra as a mainstream uh, check-in process for passengers traveling through airports. Digi Yatra is a government initiative as we all know and airports are gearing up to address the needs of passengers to have a hassle-free journey which is not dependent on you know taking out your boarding pass and several documents at different points but how your own face can help you travel through the airport. So think about how simple it gets that once you are listed in, once you have are on the Digiatra app, you are able to travel through the different touch points at the airport just by looking at the system gates. So these are the kind of systems of future where technology is being taken into the stride and helping you emulate how a human would interface with various systems rather than dependent on systems to come and you know scan through systems that will come and check your details a person that is going to interface and uh, help you across different touch points where you are yourself in charge of your own journey you can decide how and when you want to your journey to look like so that's simplifying 
also that you know uh, do we actually not require human interface at all once the digi yatra becomes a reality so once digi yatra becomes a reality human intervention is actually not required across various touch points uh, we are looking at how a person can enter download the app themselves they come to the airport they pass through the entry they go to the security hold up they pass through the security they go to the boarding gate and they are boarded into the flight just by looking at the cameras so interactions are only at the points where there is a reason to interact you know if you would like to ask a question but it is not mandatory for you to go through a person intervention but like to ask a question to whom if you have a question to whom you know how do you find the person you one person to your uh, you know phone doesn't work or your app doesn't get downloaded you don't have a printed copy then whom are you supposed to ask is the airport do you will there be people at the airport who will be able to help who know digi yatra as a concept and will be able to take you through the process if you are got caught somewhere good question sangeeta in fact uh, we spoke also about change and adoption so understanding that a new technology takes time understanding that people get used to a new technology over a period of time so there will be the manual passenger flows that will coexist so when digi yatra comes through it is not that every person mandatorily has to go through this process there will be the running processes that will run slowly trans, uh, transitioning into a completely people free process when people are absolutely used to it so there is no forced adoption but uh, adoption which people will themselves see the ease of usage and come to the same systems right and like you said that you are creating this for the government now tell me one thing uh, you need cooperation from airlines you also need cooperation from the airport authority you also need you know there has to be a technical uh, uh, backdrop which should be you know you cannot have a server down any time ha huh? so all those sort of things are there so does it are there too many stakeholders and does it require too much of uh, coordination so the initiative is led by ministry of civil aviation uh, the app for registering biometrics for the first time it is uh, it is uh, an initiative that is by digi yatra uh, uh, foundation the airports are connecting to that app and the airport journeys are being done by airports themselves so the initial first verification of a bona fide passenger that i am ekta ghosh and this is my boarding pass and i am as per my uh, i authentic identification the right person to enter that is getting done by the ministry of civil aviation app right post that once the biometrics are registered it's the airports who are making sure that there is a seamless journey using the biometrics so the different stakeholders are different are different actors at different points in time who are coming together for this so you're right you need a lot of airline help to make sure that passengers register early and come forward so the ministry is taking active steps to make sure that they align the entire airline fraternity as well when we look at launching this very soon and i just for my such an inquisitive thought you know uh, is it for the first time such a thing is going to happen it does it already exist in uh, airports abroad uh, like i am a very uh, vivid traveler huh? so i travel at least uh, 12 journeys a year out of the country but i still haven't found such a thing happening anywhere at any of the big airports of the world so is it a brain child which has just popped up or have we borrowed it from somewhere i will say that this is definitely an ambitious project i haven't come across a government sponsored at this scale biometric implementation project yet there are various airports who have invested in the initiatives who have various passenger flows being um, authenticated by my by my matrix at different stages either at immigration or at boarding gate etc but a full wholesome journey led by the ministry where all airports uh, you know in the country are participating and raring to go i see it is first of its time yes absolutely so do i and uh, i think you know ekta when we speak next uh, let's say uh, we give a gap of a year a year and a half and we speak again i'm sure you'll have lots more to tell me and i think you know the project should have reached a stage where you know it goes public and you know you happy i know that you still have it on the play store and you can download it yes but 
uh, yeah, but yes, but it is yet to go mainstream. Yes, yes. and. Uh, we are as hopeful as yourself as to how this goes, but yes. Thanks. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for being with us. And, you know, really hope that it continues and you become successful. And eventually the government becomes successful in the exercise. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Absolutely.